When a young woman graduates from college and starts looking for a job, the first question she will be asked is, do you type? The unspoken assumption is that women are different. They do not have executive ability, orderly minds, stability, leadership skills, and they are too emotional. It has been observed before that society, for a long time, discriminated against another minority, the Blacks, on the same basis. The happy little homemaker and the contented old darky on the plantation were both produced by prejudice. But the truth is that in the political world, I have been far oftener discriminated against because I am a woman than because I am Black. Prejudice against Blacks is becoming unacceptable although it will take years to eliminate it. Prejudice against women is still acceptable. More than half of the population of the United States is female. But women occupy only 2% of the managerial positions. In Congress, we are down to one senator and 10 representatives. Considering that there are about three and a half million more women in the United States than men, this situation is outrageous. It is for this reason that I wish to introduce today a proposal that has been before every Congress for the last 40 years, the Equal Rights Amendment. <laughs> 